Hello, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical and today we're going to take a look at the new Habrock Pro Thermal and Optical Binocular from Hike Micro. The Habrock Pro is the third product to join the Hike Micro range for winter 2024. As with previous products that we've released this year, this is using our latest generation high resolution X sensor. That's got a 1280 pixel resolution and offers unrivaled levels of detail. We'll come onto that in a little bit more detail later on, but first let's take a look at the other technology that Hike Micro have packed into the Habrock Pro. The Habrock Pro is available with a choice of two thermal sensors, a 640 pixel and a 1280 HD high resolution sensor. One advance that Hick have made in this latest generation of products is the net D or the sensitivity of the products. The net D is a measure of the smallest temperature difference that two pixels on the sensor can detect. The lower that number, the smaller the difference they can measure and the more accurate your image becomes. That delivers two advantages to you. First, more image detail, not only in your heat source, which gives you a better chance to identify the animal or the bird, but also its surroundings. You can see the situation, you see more of the foreground to give you an idea of the distance and also more of the background so that you know what's behind your heat source. The 640 pixel sensor used in the Habrock Pro has a sub 15 MK net D. That's industry leading and offers unrivaled performance and detail. The 1280 pixel uses a sub 18 MK net D and that is also exceptional performance, especially when paired to that high resolution format. Both sensors give you great detail and excellent performance in harsh conditions. Alongside the sensors and the hardware built into the Habrock Pro, Hike Micro have also focused on developing the latest software and algorithms to improve and boost the image performance. The Habrock Pro uses Image Pro 2, this is a sharpening technique which adds extra detail and defines the lines in the image and it gives you the crispest, most detailed image possible. The day and night channel uses a high resolution 4K sensor and that gives loads of opportunity for using high magnification. When you're using high magnification, the smallest handshake leads to a big shift in the image in the screen and it can make it difficult to view subjects at longer distances. Adding the image stabilization removes that hand wobble and makes it easy to observe targets or subjects at long distances without any interruption. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the technology inside the Habrock Pro, let's have a look through the product itself. The chassis would feel instantly recognizable to anybody who's used a pair of optical traditional binoculars in the past. They're ergonomic and really comfortable to use for extended times. Clearly the advantage that we have with the Habrock is its multi-spectrum camera options. On the right hand side and with the red ring, we've got the thermal camera. The focus around here allows us to grip and easily adjust to get the perfect image. And we've got our high resolution 640 or 1280 X sensor in there, delivering unrivaled levels of detail back to the screens on the back here. So that's perfect for detecting and also seeing the surroundings of heat sources around us. Over on this side, and we've got the 4K high resolution optical channel. That's giving us a really bright, vibrant image during the day. It's able to carry on working through low light, still with that full color image. And then in complete darkness, we switch over to the black and white night vision image. And we've got a built-in IR illuminator here. You can also remove this and replace it with different wavelengths of IR if you want to. The advantage of using a digital CMOS channel if you're bird watching or for other nature observation is you can connect to our Hike Microsite app. You can stream or control the device through there. So if you're out with somebody else, they could have your phone or you could have it on the dashboard of your car and you can share the experience with someone who's with you. So coming back again and on top, we've got our buttons that control all of the functions for the unit. This is our power button. This also doubles as a standby. It's worth noting that the unit automatically shuts off as you drop them to your chest. This helps to increase the battery life and also stops any wash from coming up and illuminating your face in the dark. Coming back and in the middle is the camera button. That will capture a still image with a short press or if you press and hold, it will start recording a video 
Both of those are saved onto the internal memory and they could be retrieved through the app using the Wi-Fi connection. Coming back again, and we've got the laser rangefinder button. In the bridge, there's a 1000 meter laser rangefinder. A press of that button activates the laser rangefinder and you can choose if you've got a single activation or if you want that to continually run for a predefined period of time. On this side, at the back, we've got the magnification button. Coming forwards, we've got the menu button. That also changes your color palette and you can switch between four or six different palettes. You can also deactivate the ones that you're not using. I personally have mine set up with one thermal palette activated and the 4K camera activated. And that means when I use the button at the front, a single press moves from thermal back into camera, into the CMOS or the day night camera, back to thermal. So you can scan in thermal, one press, you're into that high quality day camera view. You can see exactly what you're looking at. And then another press, you're back to your chosen thermal channel and you can carry on scanning. Over on this side, we've got the battery compartment. We can simply pop the window open. There's a little clip to release the button and that's our battery pack. This gives us around five hours of runtime and the Habrock Pro is supplied with two batteries in the box. So you get loads and loads of use. You're certainly not gonna run out in a single night out and about. When we come to the back of the Habrock Pros, we've got our viewfinder and the eyepieces. So these are both adjustable to match your interpupillary distance. It's really easy to get those in a comfortable position to match your eyes. Likewise, we've got an independent focus for each eyepiece. When you first receive these, you'll need to use this focus so that the icons inside the screen are clear. You would then use the focus on the thermal and the day-night camera independently to set each of those cameras up. So really, you'll set these once and forget about them, and then you can just carry on using them with these focus on the front of the unit to adjust for distance as you use them every day. We've got soft rubber eye cups with these fold back wings. So if you wear glasses like me, it's easy to get them out of the way and they're really comfortable and easy to use. And as we look inside the unit, we've got a wide screen OLED display that gives a really crisp, vibrant image and it's really immersive. It's really widescreen. It's comfortable to use for prolonged periods and it shows that incredible detail that's captured by those latest generation sensors. Another cool feature that Hike Micro have introduced with the Habrock Pro is their new binocular harness. This provides a secure way of carrying your Habrock Pro binoculars and a great place to store them when you're finished using them. So that was our introduction to the incredible new Habrock Pro thermal and optical binoculars from Hike Micro. This powerful product builds in the ability to detect in thermal and then view with that high quality 4K camera. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe our channel to get the latest news from Hike Micro and all of the excellent Elite Optical brands.